Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're sitting down and we are doing a get ready with me for my maternity pictures. I figure I have to sit down and get ready for them anyways. Why not film it and take you guys along with me? So before I get started, if you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And learn that if you're excited and you just wanna hang out, get ready with me for my maternity pictures, let's go ahead and get started. So I did go ahead and prime my eyes off of camera with my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Also, a lot of the products I'm going to be using in this video today are going to be a ton of my favorite products that I love with my whole entire heart that are my go-tos. So you also kind of get a glimpse into that products that like, if I need my makeup to look bomb all day long, these are the ones I'm going to reach for. My favorites have not really switched up too, too much in the last year or so. So you probably have seen me use these products a million times, but like I said, they're my favorites. They are my go-tos. So for my eyeshadow palette I'm going to use today, I'm gonna to use the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. As you can see, this is a very well-loved palette. This has pans. Pretty much all three of these shades have dips in them as well. It's just my favorites. And the dress I'm planning on, I am wearing, not planning on wearing, I am wearing, is like, I'll pop up a picture somewhere on the screen, but it's like, tan kind of light pink and it's long it goes all the way to the ground and has bright pink flowers all over it and then like army green leaves that like normal flower leaves are colored so i just kind of want to play into the pinks a little bit i do want to do a little bit more of a neutral eye i thought about doing a pink eye but i don't know i just thought that would maybe be too much pink too much into the pink theme of like having a girl so i'm gonna do a neutral eye probably like a pink blush and like a light pink lip is my envision. So I'm gonna do my go-to eye look with this eyeshadow palette, as well as this just being my go-to palette because it's just such a fave, so reliable. So we're going to start off with this tan shade right here. I'm not entirely sure if doing maternity pictures is just a thing in the United States. If you're from another country, please let me know down below if you guys take professional pictures like this too. Honestly, it's a very new concept. I feel like in the United States, it's really gotten popular the past like, I don't know, probably six, seven years to get like maternity pictures, newborn pictures, family pictures every year. Mike and I haven't really gotten a ton of professional pictures taken of us. We've only gotten our engagement pictures and our wedding pictures. And then other than that, we haven't done any family pictures over the years because it's, it's just the two of us, you know what I mean? But I can definitely see me booking a little Christmas session later in the year with our little girl and sending out Christmas cards for the first time. Also, is that a thing in other countries? I wanna know. I don't know like the customs, what's, I don't wanna say normal, but typical in other countries. So like, do you guys take professional pictures all the time? Do you send out Christmas cards with like family pics on it? Please let me know if you're from another country because I'm curious. Alrighty, next I like to start off with a mixture of this light brown and deep brown, but then eventually I will go into just the deep brown for my outer corner. I like to mix them together at first because I don't want it to be too harsh at first but when i googled when the heck you're supposed to do your maternity pictures like in your pregnancy because you obviously don't want to be like too far along and too big and uncomfortable you want to actually still feel kind of cute um and it said do it anywhere between 28 and 32 weeks and we are doing it on a saturday and on that wednesday like the upcoming wednesday i'll be 30 weeks so figure it right in the middle a little sweet spot i definitely have a belly that you can see but i'm not too uncomfortable yet <laughs> I'm actually excited because the girl who's doing our pictures is someone that I know from, I used to teach with her. She was one of the aides in my second school I taught at. So I met her my third year teaching, but my first year at that school. Very confusing. But she um, was an aide at our school and she was actually one of my kids' aides on my caseload that year. And she, what, her and I just like instantly clicked. Like she is just the best. She has the best personality. And she ended up, she was pregnant that year. And so she ended up leaving and becoming like kind of like a stay-at-home mom and then she dabbled in a couple other things and now she has started her own photography business and she's killing it and I am so excited that I get to support her and I get to see her again today and it's always fun to like support a friend who has a business like that. I'm gonna have to touch up my hair before <laughs> these pictures. I don't know what's going on with some of these curls. I feel like, let me know if you are like this down below also. I'm just telling you guys to comment everything today. Whenever I try really hard on curling my hair and I just really want slash need it to look perfect, <laughs> um, it never does. It never does. I feel like I always mess it up. And you guys are probably looking at my hair like, Emma, it looks fine. It looks like every other time you've curled it, but not to me. <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited that I am able to 
support her and her photography business. It's a little bit newer. She started it last year, but I'm telling you, she's been killing it. I am really excited for it. these pictures. I have a feeling we'll probably book her for our newborn pictures as well. Alrighty, glitter primer, like always, I'm going to put it on the like inner half of my lid and we're just going to put this on the most inner portion of my lid and this uh, shade towards the middle of my lid. I'm really excited that my rings still fit me. <laughs> They're getting pretty tight. I'm getting pretty swollen, which I know is a thing later on. Um, I just honestly really wanted to be able to wear them for our maternity pictures. So I'm glad they still fit. And then after this weekend, if they don't fit anymore, it's fine. I can start wearing my little silicone ring thing I've got, but I was like, please, please don't be too tight so I can't wear you. Not that it really matters, but I don't know. They're my wedding rings. They're special and important to me. You know what I mean? Oh gosh. These two shimmers are just gorgeous, but I squeezed them on my chubby little fingers and we're going to wear them today. Alrighty, and that's the eye look. It's a really nice, simple, neutrally sort of tone. It goes with, it's gonna go with like my dress and pretty much anything else. Like this is just such a good go-to palette. I love it. I am going to probably finesse it a little bit off camera, add a little bit more uh, deep brown in the outer corner. And I also want to add a brown wing liner with my Benefit Roller Liner. I haven't done a wing liner in a while. I don't know why, I love wing liner. Like I truly, I love how it makes my, um, eyes look elongated and like snatch like cat like if that makes sense um but i don't want to do it on camera because i haven't done it in a while and i don't want to mess it up so i'm gonna go do those things and i'll be right back are they even no but that's okay i think they're even enough that it's gonna be fine especially zoomed out far away it's not like she's gonna be taking super up close pictures of like my face that's not the point of this photo shoot um next up for primer i'm going in with my hourglass mineral veil primer this is just my jam my favorite i will say i like this primer for making my makeup last all day long i don't necessarily need that right this second um it's like noon when i'm filming this and our pictures are at three but so like it's not like i need this makeup to last a super long time before my picture is being taken but it's just my favorite primer it truly is magic Makes my skin look so good. My makeup lasts all day long. We are going to be running errands afterwards too. So I would like it to hold up the rest of the evening. <laughs> Still my go-to foundation combination, Physician's Formula Butter Believe It. I have the shade Fair. And then my Sika Clearing BB Cream from Purito in number 21 Light Beige. I love to mix these two together. It is just on my skin the most perfect combination. I wouldn't say it's the most perfect shade match for me. But finish wise and how it wears and just looks on my skin, this combination is just the best. And I can make it work, you know, shade wise as well. A little yellow. All right, got that all blended in. I've been trying, trying to go in with less foundation, less product. That way it's like not as heavy of a layer on my skin. I'm not always successful with it, but I have just noticed how I mean, I'm getting more wrinkles. That's typical with aging, but I'm getting more wrinkles and my makeup is going into the, those wrinkles more. And so I'm like, Emma, you need to chill on the layers and just do lighter layers. Um, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. <laughs> Especially on my chin. I feel like my chin ends up looking really cakey sometimes. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I've stopped putting concealer pretty much everywhere but under my eyes. So that's helping too. I'm on top of trying to use less foundation, but the girl's aging. For our concealer, we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade. Yogurt Drops 1.5. Put a little bit. I also feel like it's been hard lately to get the foundation into my little nose crevices over here on the side. I don't know why a little less today but like do you see how it's not wanting to really adhere to my nose i've been having a lot lately i'm like why what's happening <laughs> why is it doing that i don't know okay my hair was not staying back enough on its own so i had to clip it it's kind of driving me crazy right now but i think we'll be okay next up i'm gonna take my nars cream bronzer bronzer cream in the shade laguna 01 i don't know why i looked at that i've used this a thousand times i know I know the name. <laughs> and we're just going to pop that on like you would any other bronzer. What's going on here? 
I think I'm gonna need to trim this little piece. <laughs> Anyone else do that? You just trim random pieces of your hair when you need to. <laughs> I found that when I go in with this cream bronzer and then set it down with powder, and then sometimes, well, most of the time, I go in with a really light layer of powder bronzer on top. It gives me the most natural looking bronze. As much as I love powder products, and honestly, I prefer powder products, sometimes with powder bronzers, I've noticed that they can just get patchy on me, and I don't I think it's the bronzer like I truly don't my skin is just really finicky and so today is not the day to have to deal with patchy bronzer and this cream bronzer from NARS oh, it just never gets patchy it is perfection and then if you bring it up a little bit too high kind of like I did here you just go in with your sponge and re-tap it out put a little bit too much on my forehead too so it's so forgiving that is a good thing about cream products it is very they are very forgiving if you like make a mistake or you need to fix them. All right, I went ahead and set my face for my under eyes. I use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. And for the rest of my face, I use my ABH Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla. These are like my go-to, I mean, that's the whole point. I'm using a lot of my go-to products in here, but this just is so good on my under eyes. And this is like the most smoothing powder I swear I've ever seen. So, or ever used, not ever seen. Um, so as you can tell, now that my face is all set, I feel like my bronzer looks really nice and natural. I wouldn't necessarily need to go over it with the powder bronzer. I am gonna add just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Into Sun Powder uh, bronzer. This is a very light, easy bronzer. That's not going to add too much definition or too much deep and darkness, because I don't really need that. I just kind of want to add just a little bit, a little bit of something, something. I also do like to add a little bit here and then I will take some of this, try to carve out this double chin. Don't want that showing in pictures. Let's be real. It's still going to, it's fine. <laughs> and then also I use my powder bronzer as a nose contour. I've never been good at contouring my nose with cream. It just never looks good on me. It's always like way too harsh. So I always do this step with powder. Then for highlight, this might surprise some of you that this is like my go-to highlight, but it's my MAC. This is her, their mineralized skin finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. Something about this highlight is just so beautiful on the skin and ethereal, and it's got some sheen and glow to it without being too much. It doesn't emphasize texture. It's not too blinding. I feel like in natural light, which is we're gonna try to do our pictures outside, we're gonna freeze our butts off. It's like 38 degrees outside. But right now the sun is shining. I don't know if it'll stay like that in a couple hours, but this just gives the most beautiful, like ethereal glow. That's all I can think of to explain this highlight. <laughs> I really make sure to tap off my highlighter brush though, because it does have some, you're not gonna be able to set, like see, but if, uh, if you look up close, it does have some sparkles to it, which I don't want that on my face. So I like to really tap off my uh, highlighter brush into this little cup that I use. That way all the sparkles come off but it just gives, I don't even know how to explain it, a beautiful glow without being too much of anything. The color is not too bright and it's natural, but still glowy. Ooh, I love it. Buff it in and make it like one with the skin. And then once you put a highlight or a setting spray on on top, sorry, it really just melts into the skin even more. Ooh, it's a good one. For brows, we're just going in with my e.l.f. Wow Brow. This just makes my brows look so natural and fluffy which is what I want. I'm gonna wait a little second on blush before I do that. But next up, we're just going to mix together these two shades for my lower lash line. More of the light brown than the dark. ColourPop Flexitarian. <laughs> you guys know. Although I am gonna be a little extra and add the Rare Beauty highlighter on top. This is in the shade Enlighten with my little baby highlighter brush. This is like one of the most blinding highlights I've ever used. You can make it more subdued if you want. But I just like to add a little bit of extra, ooh, yeah, ba ba boom in the inner corner, especially since we will be outside. Hopefully the sun will like catch that, you know? A little bit up here, like a little tiny bit. It's blinding. All right, I'm gonna go load my lashes up with Tarte Man Eater Mascara and choose a blush shade. I'll be right back. All right, for blush, I'm going to go in with the Odin's Eye Soul Main Sunlight Love Blusher in the shade Sunset Clouds. I just think this will be a really beautiful pinky mauve sort of shade. I think it'll go with the dress a lot, really well, a lot, really well. Also, I just really 
oh, I love this blush. It's so pretty. The tone is nice because it's like a little bit brighter of a pink, but still being more nude. And like, I don't know, it's just like the most perfect. Oh, I love this blush. Then for lip liner, I'm just gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Just a little bit to define my lips. And then we're gonna go in with the Natasha Denota My Dream Lipstick in the shade Natasha. I wanted this more like mauve pinky sort of lip color. And I also love this formulation because it's creamy. If you can tell, it's like shiny. And my lips have been so dry and flaky lately, like um, peely. And I've been trying to like, sorry, this is disgusting, but I've been trying to like peel off the excess skin, go in with like a scrub and all that. And I don't know what is going on with my lips. They've been super dry lately. So I want, I need a more moisturizing lipstick versus a more matte one. I thought about going in with one of my Milani ones that I love, um, but your girl just needs a little bit more hydration on my lips. Then last but not least, we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. What other setting spray would I use? <laughs> And that was it, you guys. That was my get ready with me, getting ready for my maternity pictures. Also showing you a little glimpse into all of my go-to favorite products. I love how my makeup turned out. I think it looks really like put together and pretty. I do maybe wish, I do regret a little bit not going in with more pinky of an eye, to eye look, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine, especially once I have my dress on, the tones, it all just kind of goes together. All these products will be listed and linked down below for you in case you do want to check any of them out since they are my faves, my go-tos. They are affiliate links, so if you do choose to shop through them, I really, really appreciate it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.